I'm back with another episode of Tales of Arise. Last episode, I finally got the starship and went to Lenegas. So right now I am at Lenegas, I am at the start and I'm ready to do what I need to do. I'm quite excited to see what this uh, region or just planet or starship is going to bring me. This is definitely going to be some soldiers. It's been a long time since I saw any of them. But hopefully there's going to be giant zoogles and all that kind of stuff. I don't think so, but you can uh, you can always hope. Uh, so before I actually do anything, I just wanted to see what this was actually going to do. And it's just a takeoff. Okay, so that means we can go back to, uh, to Dana. Alright, that's good. So if it's gonna be like a bit too difficult, we can go back and maybe farm or a couple of other stuff. Open this and yeah, let's uh, let's try this. I'm just hoping that this is actually a big region, but I don't think it will be. It's just a big giant ship. Oh, something happened. Why is everything destroyed? There's probably something that happened and I don't even know what it is. Because in the beginning there were like zero guards. Lanagus. So I like that this is this is actually a city inside of a big spaceship. What in the world? This being Renin territory, I was prepared for a lot of things to look different. But this? This is a bit more than I anticipated. The very foundations of the city have shifted. What could have caused this? The Red Woman. When Lenigus changed shape, it must have had an effect on the interior too. Maybe when they sent the Wedge down to Dana? But they wouldn't move around the places where people live. These are their homes, right? Yeah, I don't think they actually knew. I would think the citizens themselves didn't have much say in the matter. Yep. Either way, locating the Forbidden Zone just became that much trickier. Dolhalim? Is that you? Avakir, I'm glad to see you're well. So it is you! But why are you here? Shouldn't you be down on Dana participating in the crown contest? And these people! So you haven't heard what happened on Dana then? Heard what? Someone you know? An old friend. Hey, Dohalim. Don't tell me you've started keeping company with- They're with me. More importantly, what's happened here? Uh, I'm really not sure. The city's foundations began to shift without warning, and now everything looks like this. We're all waiting for the Sovereign to tell us what's happening, but so far... Avakir, listen to me. We're looking for the Forbidden Zone. Do you have any idea where we might find it? The Forbidden Zone? What business could you possibly have there? Trust me. The less you know, the better. <sighs> You're just the same as ever. <laughs> I wish I could help, but what with the changed topography, I can barely locate my own home. Let alone the Forbidden Zone. Very well. It looks like we'll have to find the way there ourselves. Have you seen Faria yet? No. I see. Well, nothing much has changed with her. If anything, she's probably even more... I can well imagine. Why did you come back? You know it can only result in pain for you both. I've no doubt of that. You really are the same as ever. Fine, I understand. Just don't say I didn't warn you. And take care of yourself. Okay, Doe? Doe. <laughs> Is that his new nickname? Doe? Okay, L so little silence. Faria? That's the woman what? we, like the w which he played the violin with. I true, think it would seem the people of Lenigus are being kept in the dark about what's happening down on Dana. They seem to be just as clueless about what's going on up here in their own world. 
Despite the fact that it's actually here that the wedge originally came from. We need more information. Let's talk to the citizens, see what we can find out. While we're at it, we can ask them about the Red Woman, too. And don't forget about finding the way to the Forbidden Zone, either. Let's leave the talking to Xion. We can't have a bunch of Danans poking their noses around. Good idea. I think that's for the best. I shall assist. You sure? Being a lord on Lenigus has its advantages. Right. Then we'll leave it to you two. So yeah, the Faura is... Uh, the Danans among us should if you don't know... Keep our heads down. Like what the story goes out? for uh, Dolhalim is that before being a what crown contest dogs? contender, he was in this group of, I don't know, young boys and girls, so I don't know, and uh, he killed another boy, which was his friend, and the girl was also their friend together, but because he killed that boy, she is was was mad at, at him, or something like that, and I, I'm pretty sure it's her. If it's not her, I don't know, but I'm just uh, I'm just thinking. We never actually heard her name before, but that's definitely gonna be her. It's definitely gonna be that. All right. So what's my objective now? Um, just talking to those um, people. All right. That's simple. And I see we have an action right over there, maybe to heal somebody. What was that sound? Oh, they all can heal. Oh, interesting. Oh, dear me. What an unspeakable mess this has all become. Just look at the state of our city. Even the Zoogles have stopped heeding our commands. Oh, Whatever shit. You deserve this. You really have no clue what might have caused this? Would that I have. Alas, there was no warning, no prior decree. His Highness must have deemed it unnecessary for us to know. We have no choice but to grin and bear it. But do my eyes deceive me? Could I really be standing in the presence of his lordship, Dohalim of the House Ilkaris? I believed he was on Dana. Your eyes do not deceive you. It is I, one and the same. I have returned to fulfill a special duty, the details of which I cannot divulge. As your lordship wishes. First Lanagus mutates beyond recognition, now this unexpected visit. The Sovereign's plans are inscrutable indeed. The Ilkaris House has produced a great many lords over the centuries. I shall be praying for your victory in the latest crown contest. Your good wishes do me an honor. Okay, so that dude or that man, that old man, talked about uh, that the Zuckles don't even respond to their calls or their help. So something is really amiss. And it looks like there is a sovereign on this planet on, on Lenigus. So that means that maybe that sovereign has like the real on everything. He that's his big plan. And he doesn't even care about his citi citizens. I don't know. I'm just speculating and I hope it is like that. Because I like to be true. Or that I tell the truth. Okay, there's a couple of kids there. That's a shame. Oh she's using water. Nice. Yeah I knew that this was going to be a healing thing. Fancy parfait recipe. Nice. Everything will be okay now. I know the basics of healing arts, but my skills pale in comparison. Your lordship. Oh, what a great honor it is to finally meet. I descended to Dana during the last crown contest also. Alas, when the contender I was backing failed to clinch the title, I returned. I witnessed the deaths of so many slaves. Indeed. Sorry to interrupt, but we're looking for a woman dressed all in red. Have you seen anyone of that description? All red, eh? No, I can't say I remember anyone like that. 
I imagine she'd stand out somewhat, too. Yeah. What about down on Dana during the crown contest? You didn't see anyone like that hanging around the Lord you were serving? What's with all these questions? I've never seen her, okay? Not recently or otherwise. Why do you want to find her anyway? Never mind. Forget I asked. Sorry to take up your time. Okay. This is all really weird, to be honest. I don't know what's happening. I don't know what that red woman is. She didn't even look human. Is everything okay? You look a little lost. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. I can't seem to find my way home, is all. I was just about to make my umpteenth attempt at a new route. I was hoping to head this way myself. The situation is a real pain, huh? I suppose the Sovereign knows best. I daren't stay here too long, though. A lower caste can only linger around these parts for so long before I outstay my welcome. I was hoping to avoid it, but maybe I'll have to go that way after all. You mean you know another way round? Lord Dohalin Ilkaris! But how? Last I heard, you were in Dana competing in the crown contest. Yes, strange, isn't it? If you know another route, we'd be grateful if you could tell us. But, but of course. Please forgive me. There's a wall that sprung up ahead of here, with what looks to be an entrance in it. I thought maybe it was a passageway between the different quarters, but I've no way of knowing for sure. It's worth investigating, at least. I shall go and assess the situation. In the meantime, wait for me here. If it looks safe, I'll come and let you know. You'd really do that for me? A lord troubling himself for someone of my lowly status? Our lot in life is of little consequence. We are both Renan, first and foremost. Oh, why yes, my lord. Thank you. Well, we've canvassed the city for information. What do you think? No one has the faintest idea what's happened to this city after all. They haven't heard the news about the crown contest either. You'd think that info would easily find its way up here. Has it always been like that? Not to this extent. Which would indicate that something's suppressing the truth. That Lenicus is under some kind of control. Given everything that's happened to their city, the people here seem weirdly okay with it all. Yeah. That one guy even said Zugal had stopped listening to him. If that's true, these people are in big trouble. Everything that happens here is attributed to the Sovereign's will. It's the way people have been conditioned. Their belief runs deep. Nothing happens devoid of a reason. To them, it's all part of the Sovereign's grand plan. The Sovereign's plan. There is one thing I'm still not sure about. Just who is this person ruling over Lenigus? Uh, that's something I actually want to know. Of course. He rules from Rena while presiding over both Rena and Lenigus. Without the Lord, oh, so he is in Rena. That's the planet. Work? Okay, isn't Rena at least the same size as Dana? That's a pretty big dominion for one person to rule over. I would have thought ruling Lenigus alone would be difficult enough. The points you make are valid, though I confess I'd never given it much thought before. Here, the sovereign's total authority is as natural as night turning to day. Come to think of it, I know nothing of the nature of how Rena itself is. <sighs> Shion, have you ever been... No, forgive me. Have you met or crossed paths with, or even heard of someone who's actually made a visit to the homeland? No, I haven't. It doesn't Neither even exist. In which case, I would imagine that... <clears throat> but no, surely not. Can it really be that no citizen of Lenicus has ever been there? Hold up, what are you getting at, Dohalim? Assuming what I believe to be correct, it's possible that no one on Lenigus has ever laid eyes on the actual Renan homeworld itself. No one but the Sovereign, that is. But what about trade and communication? There's got to be a flow back and forth, surely. Not if the Sovereign is imposing his will on Lenigus single-handedly. It could be a one-way street. But I thought you said that the Sovereign's all the way over on Rena. If that's the case... Can he really rule directly over Lenigus from so far away? 
What if something were to happen to the city, like now? I'm beginning to wonder what the nature of this sovereign even is. Alfin said he was forced into the role, right? Just before the ceremony. But sovereign is also the title given to the almighty Renin ruler. So which one is it? Whoever wins the crown contest inherits the throne from his or her predecessor before becoming ruler over all of Renna and Lenegas. Thereafter, that individual is known as the Sovereign. Though, it would appear that the current ruler has gone silent. As for how Volron factors into all this, at this point, I no longer know what to believe. Three centuries ago, I became the Sovereign here on Lenegas. No, not just became, I was forced to. Me, a Danon. Three hundred years later, we cross paths with Volron, who also bears the Sovereign's crest. That's not the only thing we have in common. We both became Sovereign without winning the Crown Contest. Do you think Volron was made Sovereign for the same reason? Because of that ceremony? I can't say for sure, but it certainly sounds like it. But that would mean that two Sovereigns would need to exist at any one time. One whose job it is to rule, and the other for ceremonial purposes. We never did see Volron's body back in Ganeth Heros. Is a new ceremony underway with Volron at its center this time? Could that be what's causing all this strange activity here? Wait a second. You don't think Volron and the Red Woman are working together, do you? The ceremony can't go forward without the Renis Alma. The same one that the Red Woman stole. There's something else the ceremony needs. A maiden. And unless there's another one out there aside from me... Questions, questions, and yet more questions. Ones that it seems will remain unanswered until we can establish the Sovereign's identity. If the Forbidden Zone really is off-limits to everyone but the Sovereign, that seems as good a place as any to start. For the sake of liberating Dana, too. Then it's decided. That's where we need to go. One of the citizens mentioned a passage that she thought might lead to another section of the city. It could point us in the right direction. Let's go find it! Okay, finally, can I go? This is beginning to be a bit uh, too much of a long, long conversation. Like last episode, 45 minutes of con... No, you're seriously not gonna give me more. Oh Nobody my god. left to run the show. I wonder what the people here are supposed I mean, their sovereigns up on the Renin homeworld. And but Dohalim, only current acting lords have power. Renin society is quite strict. Even if the other lords were still around, I doubt they. I wonder what they'd think if they were here to Salsif, Canabelt, Almadria, and Volron. Now that I think of it, aside from Dohalim, we know next to nothing about the other lords. Well, yeah, why? To us Danans, they were just enemies we needed to overthrow. I know. But seeing Renins in their own city, going about their. It feels strange to imagine the lords living here too. Yeah. If you're that curious about them. Why not try? Every lord in their household has their share of supporters. And luckily for us, the people here are unaware of the events on Dana. So this is actually a side quest. Which I'm not gonna do. If I can. If I have to, I will do it. Uh, find the entrance to the Forbidden Zone. Alright, I don't have to do it, so let's just go to the Forbidden Zone. And if I can, I would actually love to sleep and do a couple of... Oh, so it's a multiple thing. This area I would love to actually sleep and cook some stuff. Because it looks like my buffs the are going down. transformation appear to be less pronounced here. Or viewed another way. This area was simply luckier. There's something I just don't... What is it? The crown contest itself has always gone ahead as planned, right? In which case, the current sovereign of Rena should be whoever it was that won the previous contest. Yeah, that makes sense. So, who was it then? Hanfreaked Milgras, the former lord of Cislodia, if memory serves. Cislodia? Oh. So then this Hanfreaked Wachimakalim, he's the current ruler of Rena? The last I heard, yes. Though, admittedly, I haven't actually seen him since the end of the previous contest. You're saying that ever since becoming Sovereign, he's never actually shown himself on Lenegas? I guess over Holocom, maybe, but not in the flesh. 
Same thing goes for the sovereign that came before him. Now that you mention it, I don't recall anyone ever visiting Lenigus from the Motherland, sovereign or otherwise. And that never struck you as a little bit odd? <sighs> when you live here, it's as if you're conditioned not to notice all these strange quirks and discrepancies. The question is then, by whom? And to what end? A new Renis Alma is supposedly created to coincide with every crown contest, meaning each victor is awarded their very own. In other words, if that's true, there should be as many of the things out there as there have been contests. True, but going on what we witnessed in Pelegian, it didn't look like the sort of thing that could be made to order. But if even the victor's speeches have been part of some grand deception, then where are they? Quite frankly, I'm not even sure what to believe anymore. You and me both. Though we are Renan by blood, neither of us even knew that such a thing as a Dark Master Core existed, remember? With any luck, the Forbidden Zone might give us some answers. No use standing around here chatting about it then. Let's get a move on. Yeah, it's pretty weird. Don't know what's gonna happen, but... I would actually love to get some answers. I'm just right now I'm just looking for some materials or chests, but I don't think there's anything in here. No, but there's no? only cutscenes. Oh no, is he going to see Faria. Oh yeah. Faria. Was that her? Isn't that the person that Avakir guy was? Shh. Yeah, but I think. Why are you here? Wait. Don't tell me you've given up on the crown contest and come crawling back home from Dana already. Nothing to say? Even though you were willing to kill Tarnigan to secure your position as Lord, you still... Kill? I'm here to take care of something. If you wish to continue this conversation, I only ask that you wait until I'm finished. Oh, of course. You always did prefer to take the coward's way out. Even after seven years and living on that Danon rock, you haven't changed one bit. But let me tell you, I haven't changed either. Not a day's gone by the past seven years that I haven't hated you. If killing me will bring you peace, then so be it. <laughs> Dohalim, what the hell are you saying? First, I have business to take care of. If it's vengeance you seek, I will grant you it. But you must wait. My sins are legion. Let me finish what I came to do. Then you have my word. I will let you do whatever brings you peace. Sure, that's it. Run away like always. You don't even have the courage to die. No wonder you leave it to someone else. You're just a coward! <sighs> oh shit. Is she's got she's gonna take uh, control of her or maybe give power and at the end she's going she's going to be a a a monster i'm just saying i think i think <laughs> we're gonna fight her we're gonna kill her i apologize that you had to witness that no don't apologize Is i it love true? drama what she said about you killing someone each of us have our pasts i am no exception Before, back in Menencia, you mentioned having taken a friend's life over the throne. Is that what she meant? The mistakes I made there were not my first, and may not be my last. I will say no more. Did you mean what you said? About letting her take your life if she wanted to? She has more right to my life than anyone. But you can't just... Whatever happens... I have sworn to put an end to the Crown Contest, and to ensure continued coexistence in Menencia. I have no intention of expiring before I do so. There are far too many questions I still seek answers to. Besides, you have just as much reason to kill me as she does. <laughs> Dohalim! Forgive me. Some things are best left unsaid. I would actually love to see some enemies. Like, seriously, it's been 
I don't know, two hours since I fought a single enemy. I would love some drama, I would love some action. If you can bring it to me, I would love it. So right now we're actually going outside of the city. That means that maybe we're gonna find uh, some uh, creature. No, definitely not. All right then. Uh, this is a really a big, big city. But this looks like a residential zone for. So that means that this was a city, and we're finally going to go outside. Good, 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 good. I don't hate it, but I really want to fight and find find some answers. I don't know. Let's get this a bit of tofu. It only give it only gives you like a. Food and stuff like that. I didn't find a single accessory, even gald. Such, such a shame. Wow, this place is beautiful. Yeah, it must be some sort of rest and leisure area for the locals. You think? Man, these Renin sure know how to live it up, don't they? <sighs> it is something the matter, Dohalim? Before I went down to Dana, my friends and I, we... We used to gather at this very spot and play music together. Avakir, Faria, and Tarnigan. <laughs> that was a lifetime ago now. Tarnigan. He was the one that Faria mentioned, right? He was once my dearest, closest friend. <sighs> as well as Faria's betrothed. <gasps> Despite Faria's lower class upbringing, she possesses a tremendous talent for music. Entranced by her playing, I helped her overcome her sense of inferiority and introduced her to Tarnigan and Avakir. It was a time of great joy. Four people bound only by their love of music, with no care for social standing. Only the next song, the next melody. A friendship based on mutual respect, and a society where everyone is a prisoner to their social class. You really are different, Dohalim. I suppose it's natural you would see it as strange. I would have, once. Now, I think the idea of breaking away from society's constraints and choosing your friends based solely on affection is something beautiful that's worth cherishing. Besides, it was that way of looking at the world that laid the foundations for coexistence in Menencia. Your praise does me too great an honor. I was merely following the wishes of my own heart. And even then, it only lasted until the crown contest began. After that, Tarnigan and I became fierce competitors for the position of Lord. Tarnigan had fallen for Faria. By becoming Lord, he aimed to wrest her from her humble origins and raise her to the highest echelons of society. But fate was not so benevolent. What happened? Tarnigan was no match for me in combat. On a level playing field, he wouldn't have stood a chance. But he was desperate and low on options, and he couldn't stand the thought of defeat. You mean he resorted to dirty tactics to try to win, right? But then why does Faria think... Wait, don't tell me she doesn't know. How could I tell her? Combined with the trauma of losing her beloved, and by her friend's hand, no less, she would have been devastated. So instead you let her go on hating you, so she could use that hate as a crutch for her grief? <laughs> That's not the same as running away, though. It is exactly the same. Unable to face the loss of my friend and the burden of my duty, instead I decried my fate and looked away from what I'd done. As for what happened after, that you already know. But if you hadn't become Lord, Menencia wouldn't be what it is now. 
The Danans there would still be suffering under Renan oppression like before. <sighs> Shion's right. What other lord would have treated me as you did? Anyone else and I would have been dead long ago. You've saved so many people, Dohalim. You saved me. It's thanks to you that I'm here today. So, try not to blame yourself. The burden you've placed on your own shoulders is too much for anyone to bear. Frank as always. But, I shall do my best to heed your advice. Do you think he'll be all right? Yeah, I think so. He's got Kisara. It's important to have someone like that. I didn't realize how difficult it is just to be there for someone. Sometimes just knowing someone's on your side can be enough. And he knows, Xion. I promise he does. I hope you're right. Ooh, that okay. was the other friend. I don't yeah. know what he I was looking for. Until Where the fuck are you, Just boy? How much you were always there to support me. Yeah. It goes both I'll ways. find you, boy. You helped me keep going more Maybe he's uh, also an enemy. Maybe. I don't know. I still wanted to say thank you. Uh, I think that the, I here, yeah, we find a shop. There. That's good. They know so this is a, finally like the first time we've seen what uh, new weapons we will get. If they are new weapons. And we have a new outfit. And they are not really that good. Diamond Cloak is alright, not the best. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, that was from Windwell. Okay, uh, let's uh, buy everything I can. And for the rest, I do not really care about it. I will just buy it, but not equip it. Only. Just I'm just doing that so my. Items are actually well. I don't know. I don't even know how to say that. But there's like a total amount of items that you need to find, and I just want to buy every single thing. So I found them. And this, I don't even know. Um, yeah, you know what? It's actually pretty good. We are on Renan, and a lot of those Renans are well mages. The so that's gonna be pretty good. But the the weapons are gonna be really good. Oh yeah. Glagius Rene. Craft and equip. Oh, I don't have enough uh, money. Yep, that's a lot of stuff. Sell every single thing in here. I have 240,000, which is pretty good. Forge weapon, craft weapon. Three new weapons for our Kisara, which is always good. Let's put this one on. Oh, I love the shield with the lion. Beautiful. A dark mane. I do not even have a dark mane. I thought I had that. Uh, craft and equip. Oh yeah, look at the damage. And this is even more powerful. Oh my god, that's beautiful. Uh, right here I need a megaphone, a bone and dark mane. Okay. And here I need nothing because I already have it. Equip it. And a megaphone bone again. And a dark mane again. All right, I've got a couple of stuff. I love it, I love it. Manage the ranch, sure. Oh, a beautiful, beautiful thing in here, love it. Rapig, just doing that real fast. Here you go, and I'm ready. Have you Let's see what's uh, what's going on. I want to fight. I want to fight, boy. Yeah, I want to. I really want to fight. I thought I was going to land against. There was going to be a fight, and we will. Oh my Damn. God! Love Lanagus their armor. Any oh way we can avoid my God! Them? That all depends on. Them. That's beautiful. Whatever happens. Be Golden ready. armor. That sh that helmet is beautiful. Well, so Level forty-four. 
I am Lord Dohalim of Elder Menencia. I command you. Threats to the city must be erased. No. Have they been brainwashed too? Brainwashed or not. If they want to fight, they got one. Okay, um, one thing's for sure, they have a lot of health. Okay, that was a shame. Yeah, they have a real... They really have a lot of health. Okay, I have just one HP. If you could heal me, that would be beautiful. Thank you. Oh, Shion of the Limit. Can you? The only problem I have with those uh, soldiers is just that they are grouped up. And every time you do not focus on just one, you just need to focus on one every single time. And it's yeah. easy to deal. They weren't big talkers, that's for sure. They weren't in the least bit phased by Dohalim's presence either. Indeed. They seem to re And yet, traditionally, Lenigus hasn't been high on threats. A few frenzied zoogles during experiments here and there. Their glazed over eyes reminded me of the soldiers and slaves we met back in Ganeth Haros. I've never seen anything like. Maybe someone doesn't want us here. And the soldiers are their way of letting us know. What with the Red Woman, the Sovereign, and Volron. They're starting to develop quite the growing list of adversaries. Yeah, that's a question, actually. Are we actually gonna find those... Uh, those... Uh, no, full run again. Because apparently he escaped... Oh, that's a big one. That's a big mantis. But apparently he escaped with the red woman. So I don't know what that... Includes is he just alive or is he dead or I don't even know. Even they do not know. I won't forgive you. Going in. Okay, I've missed every single thing. Going in. See, we left can make rings around us. Incineration wave. Tiger, make it rain. Okay, let's uh, dodge that. Almost dead. Oh shit. It's too bad. Stand back. I'll trip it up. Where are you going? I'll be saving this one. The flame inside me yearns to be let free. Ignite. Will this is a win. Make your way. Kisara, commander of heaven. Phoenix Cyclone. I'm doing a lot of damage. I like it. Remember to tell me if you need healing. Okay, I've got dark main. I could go back and equip those weapons. But I'm going to wait if there's like some kind of waypoint. Uh, you're a big man. Let's see if he's strong. It's definitely not considered a giant zoogle. But it's definitely gonna be really, really, really strong. Yeah, I was pretty sure he was going to hit me after I finished that. I think it has a charge attack. I'm not sure. Okay, that's good. Over limits. He's only focused on attacking uh, Kisara. Oh no. That was a wrong one. Fuck. I could have actually stunned him. Wow, 200 damage. It doesn't do a lot of damage. That's a shame. It's a shame that he doesn't have like a, a core. 
No, it doesn't have it. Okay, he's almost dead. Renwell at 1 HP. That's a shame. Is he down? Okay, he's down. You can focus on killing him. Nice healing. I'll take it from here. Let's see how you handle this. Deus War. I think that's the first time I'm seeing her mystical arts. Oh shit! It's been like 40 hours since I played the game. It's my first time seeing her mystical art. Mystical art. Beautiful. Quite enjoy that. that was a little close for comfort. Manted claw. That's also the thing I needed. Uh, hello. Let's dispose of the trash. Oh, I see one, one, eh? Here goes. Yeah. Yeah. Healing circle. Try harder. Hold that. Yeah. My God. Yeah. Yeah. You think that shield will save you? Here, let me help. All disasters made one. Okay, this is gonna be a problem. Let me just uh, attack him first. Shut him down. Holy shit. I love Renwell. Every single attack she does is just amazing. Leave the ensnaring to me. Yeah, and the All yours, Kisara. Pretty good. Pretty good. I'll do everything I can with this power. Make us proud, Alpha. Holy yeah, shit, there's a there's a lot of big monsters. I guess I am too. Shortcake recipe. What the hell is that thing? Force Duster. Where are you going? Searing Gale! So much for talking between heaven and earth. Okay, let's try to not be attacked by that. Commander of Heaven, Phoenix Cyclone. With this, I can become even stronger. Yeah, I've got everything I need to actually craft every single weapon. So that's good. To have any qualms about attacking on sight. Oh shit, I didn't even saw that. An opponent Here, like this help. should be easy. Try harder. Take this. Armor won't save you. Crush. Yeah. Try harder. Nice dodge. Severing wind. Void blast. Soaring light spear. Okay, let's do big damage right here. Yeah, 10,000 damage, that's pretty good. Okay, let's dodge his net. Ooh, he was too fast. I'll actually need to craft some. Oh no, not crafting, but buying some new life bottles. If I have time for that. Could I actually I have some healing, please? Did that work? No, he was just stop. He just stopped. Good. I'll see how much damage it does. Yeah, just 5,000 damage. Really, really bad. 
A whirling struggle. Cross and healing winds of Ready and ready. Earth force. Slag is Your mind. Lunar corruption. Strike. Light down high. Aqua. Mirage. Light air thrust. Burning. Do it. Shield. Go for it. It went better than the first time. So that's good. Don't push yourself too hard. Mantle Claw again. Um, I'll try to get uh, the bonus still on. But I don't think I will have enough time. Maybe. Oh yeah, I have it. Because I really need some XP. Okay, you don't move. They all moved. Okay, I would love to get some uh, beautiful HP. If you don't, okay, you don't want to give it to me, not a problem. I'll get it myself. This do it. Here I come. This I can carve through. More where that came from. Hurricane healing circle. Incineration with no chance. Void blast. Thank you so much. Now, Ringwell. Frozen. Hammer. Lunar Lighter. blast. Strike. Lightning strike. Soaring light spear. Uh -huh. Rising. Uh -huh. Go in. Uh -huh. This ends now! Consider yourself finished! Not a chance! Here's a healing arm! No escape! Eternal devastation! Shield and waterfall! Incineration rain! He just no further! Tempest world! Severing wind! You do it! This ends now! Consider yourself finished! They, they're not that strong. They all have a lot of HP. Quite but they do not have regenerative crystal. Oh, that's new. If I'm hearing regen, for me it's like a... Well, I don't know, like HP regen? I would love to see that. Okay, can I have the bonus still on? Oh, yes, I think I can. I didn't even look at how much XP I've got. Okay, good. AoE damage. Always love that. Oh, what the hell is that? What the fuck is that? Who did that? Look sharp! Lightning Tiger Blade! Here, my turn! Voice Blast! I owe you one! Okay, you don't move, please. It missed. Always love to see that. A whirling struggle. I always love to see when you do a boost track, it Seems misses. Right to me. It's like, how stupid is that? Oh, they're giving you grape gel? Oh, that's beautiful. And I still didn't look at the XP. Oh, he killed me, you son of a... Oh, yes, I still got the boost, boost strike. And that killed every single one of them. Beautiful. I felt better. Okay, 3000 XP. Sure. That's actually pretty good. 21,000. Am I? Yeah, I'm already level 47. Pretty good, pretty good. And is that the last thing? Yes, it does. Transfer. I would actually love to see a boss. Maybe the, the little girl. Oh, we have another cutscene. Oh, yeah. This must be it. The entrance to the Forbidden Zone. But it's just a wall. 
Uh, how do we get through? Whoa, we? I thought this was Sovereigns only. Alvin. Interesting. If Alfin's presence still opens the way, it would seem the Sovereign of three centuries ago and now are considered one and the same. What? What the...? Alfin. You again. Tomorrow's the spirit channeling ceremony. We'll finally play our parts as the Sovereign and Maiden. How have you been feeling? What am I Sovereign of? Shuffled from lab to lab, always treated like an experiment. Whenever they look at me, all they see is a Danon. I don't even know what their precious ceremony's for. Let alone what they're going to force me to do as the Sovereign. Tell me, if we're both in the same boat, why do you seem so calm right now? No choice. Becoming the Maiden's not something I wanted for myself. But they... They said Rena's prosperity depended on it. How could I say no after that? Still, as a Renan, at least you got to decide. Good for you. Meanwhile, I was taken from my homeland. You aren't the captive one here. It isn't right what they did to you. And I'm sorry for what it's worth. When this is over... I swear I'll help you get home. I can't do this alone. One more day. How could I say no to that? It's not like I have any choice in the matter anyway. So, what's your name? It's Naori. Naori Imeris. Try to remember this time. You don't act like them. Like the other Renans, I mean. How come you treat me like a person? Because you are. It's true we come from different worlds. But neither one of us asked to be here right now. In that sense, you and I are much the same. We couldn't do this. We wouldn't be able to talk to each other as people. If we didn't see the humanity in each other. So I suppose the question you should be asking is, why wouldn't I treat you like one? You're not like the others. Maybe they're not like me. Here's what we'll do. We give them their damn ceremony. You get me to Dana. That'll be the end of it. I'm taking you at your word on this. I'm trusting you, not them. Nayori. What the hell just happened? That vision... Did everyone else see it too? That person Alvin was speaking to... She looked exactly like Shion. It was Naori. Naori Imeris. Isn't that right? <sighs> yeah, that's right. She really does look like Shion. I'm beginning to see why Alvin was so confused. That's all very well and fine, but what did we just witness exactly? It was too real to be a mere hallucination. It was a conversation we had 300 years ago. The night before the ceremony. You mean all of that really happened? We just saw an episode straight out of your past? But how is that even possible? Unless... Could this be the Red Woman's handiwork too? No, I don't think so. Why not? You guys didn't feel it? The moment the entrance opened, it was like a stream of Dan and Astral energy rushing over us. I felt it too. And not for the first time either. It was the same sensation as back inside the wedge. 
That would make sense. After all, vast amounts of Dana's astral energy were being siphoned and sent up here to Lenigus. For all we know, perhaps we're close to the spot where all that energy was stored. So you think it might have been the energy itself that was responsible for that vision we just saw? But how? And why? We have no way of knowing. Maybe it's not even as deliberate as all that. <sighs> Shion, you okay? Yeah. It was all just a little sudden. That's all. So that was my ancestor, huh? It was like looking into a mirror. Yeah, there certainly is a resemblance. What about you? How are you holding up? Me? Even putting aside the question of where that vision came from, it's likely we'll see more of those. Reliving painful episodes from your past. Do you think you can handle it? I can't just pretend like the past never happened. Besides, if it helps us uncover the truth of what that ceremony really was, it might also lead to answers about your thorns. Alfin. That's not all. This whole time, we've been fighting to free Dana from the Renans. But now that we're here, it seems those same Renans might have it just as bad. I'd like to liberate them too if I can. Which is just another reason I can't afford to shield my eyes from the truth. Whether you're on Dana or somewhere else, you always stay the same. Your indignation and righteous passion, your desire to free and protect, they're all hardwired into you. Not that I'm complaining. Come on, let's bust this thing wide open. Nobody's here. Stay sharp. Mm-hmm. So what I'm actually thinking of is that maybe there's gonna be a, After that last a boss fight. There's no oh yeah, I see the healing here. pool. You know what? Yeah, let, let's deal with this first. I was going to actually stop this episode right now. But... It's a boss fight, so why shouldn't I do that? Is there a waypoint? No, it doesn't look like it. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Let's just do this. Good. It's definitely going to be the little girl. Or the woman. I don't even know what it is. Or maybe it's just a giant circle. They're like basically waiting for something to come. Yeah, I knew it. Yeah, she's being controlled. Look at her eyes. Oh, How did oh you get my in god, here? what the hell Wait, is that? Something about her isn't right. Yeah. She's What's gonna transform. She doesn't even seem to know where she is. Yeah, you're right. She looks just like the soldiers we encountered outside. So that's the red woman's doing. Oh, she has a the darkness, the dark uh, massacre. Oh no, she's just going to yeah teleport a giant zugul. Doesn't look that strong. Oh, it's actually quite big. It has a massacre on his a head. Summoning? But that's preposterous. Oh, what the fuck? She never had that kind of power when. We can talk later. Here it comes. The hell is that? Tormenting limbs. What? Well, he has limbs. I've never known to okay, can I? Yeah, like let's before? attack this core first. Where did she get her hands on that? First, we handle the Zugul. Then, we get some answers. Will this help? Go for the okay, nice point. damage. Oh, oh wait a minute. That's a big laser. You make me angry. That was a bad idea. You make me angry. I don't like that. Oh, he has a dash. Was that a dash? Maybe not. I think it was. Okay, his uh, his core doesn't break. Here you go. Okay, that was a... Not a long... Okay, let's just try and get away. Uh, that was definitely not a long stun. Okay, 
Kisara is actually pretty good to just tank every single hit. How did he even hit me? Uh, what I'm gonna do is actually use a treat. Just basic 1000 HP, but that does a lot of things. And he hits like basically nothing. Pretty good. What the hell is that? What the fuck was that? Okay, good. That's, it's a shame that this was the boost strike I got. Okay, let's try to not get hit by that Beyblade motherfucker. Okay, can I boost strike him? No, it doesn't look like. Oh shit, he did it again. Uh, use a treat. I don't need that much HP, but like basic. Basic HP to everyone at the same time is pretty good. What the fuck? How did he even kill me? Okay, I didn't understand what happened. Okay, core is broken. It's a shame I didn't get healed. Oh shit, I need to get out. Okay, let me just heal for a minute. Okay, he's over limits. I need to be careful. Okay, he's going to try and hit me again. Okay, nice dodge. Normally that will do a lot of damage. I'll try. Yep, yeah, pretty good. You should sit this way. I'd love to get some heals again. Uh, what I'm gonna do is actually use light button on Kisara. She will also get the healing. And that will kill him. No, not even. And he is dead. Maybe she's a she. Who knows? But I didn't see uh, what I needed to see to know that. Now it's just her. Kill her. Can you hear me? Varia. <laughs> she's preparing another summoning. The art she's casting Cut her is head. too powerful to control. At this rate, her body won't be able to take much more. Dohalim. <gasps> Forgive me. Ooh, he just hit a girl. Oh, he's not a lord anymore. He's a scumbag. Oh, shit. Man, I thought we were goners. Everything okay? Yes. She's only unconscious. Not her. I meant you. Shion, please. Can you treat her? I can try, but... I can't promise she'll be back to her real self when she wakes up. All I can do is heal her physically. We're not even supposed to be in here. Maybe it'd be better if we moved her to somewhere a little safer. Don't you think? In that case... I'll take her off your hands. You? Avakir, what are you doing here? I was curious what you were up to, so I took the liberty of following you to find out. I overheard what you said about Tarnigan. About how he really died. I'm sorry, I had no idea. And you believed me? What makes you so sure I wasn't lying? I like to think I know you a little better than that, Dohalim. Give me some credit. Nah. <laughs> I'll take Faria. Leave her with me. I know better than to ask what you're up to. But whatever it is, I hope it all works out. Thank you.
Okay, I, I, maybe I thought that he was like maybe evil, but it doesn't look like it. He seems like a good friend. He hasn't changed. He never was one to stand out. As for Faria, you don't seriously blame your. Somebody got to her. Just strike. And the same goes for you as well. You're wrong. Kalzalik was the one who killed my brother. As for Tarnagan, if it weren't for the crown contest, he'd still be alive. But that's why we're fighting. Indeed. Reading society of this blight is really the only way I know how to atone for my sins. You can't atone, Dohalim. <laughs> I know oh, it hurts Shit, I can't atone. But those people are dead. Forgiveness, acceptance, those ships have sailed. Yeah. So I just forget the harm I caused? Yeah. No, the opposite in fact. Not for those already passed, but for those still alive. For those still alive. Kisara's right. So long as we've still got breath in our bodies, we can make a difference in the lives of others. Lives being the operative word. That's what living's all about. Being able to still make a difference. Punishing yourself for the past won't make the pain of your conscience go away. Only fixing the problem in its stead. Is that what you're saying? That's right. You have to live for tomorrow, Dohalim. Not for yesterday. <sighs> I shall try. Don't forget, we've still got a mystery to solve. The Forbidden Zone, remember? Shion. Huh? Thank you. You have my... Glad to be of service. I'm okay. glad I stop Faria without hurting her. So I think that right now, I'm actually going to well. end this episode. Most grateful. Hope you guys enjoyed oh, it. Chefs. If you guys enjoyed it, please leave a like or comment. We'll be gladly appreciated. Next episode will be probably the Forbidden Zone. Hopefully. Team, right? But for now, well, let's goodbye. On.